Hey everybody, this is David at Homestead Hacks. Out here feeding the fish. Uh, in this pond here, this is a very small pond I've had about four or five years maybe. It's very small. It's uh, about 40 foot across and about 90 foot long. Uh, but it does have some pretty good sized catfish in here and a lot of baby catfish. Uh, if you see, right here some of the big ones you'll see coming up to the top. Hope you can hear that wind starting to blow pretty good now. Uh, let's see. If you can see right out there by the, the, the geese, there's a quite a few small. Right here's a big one. Here's a pretty good size one right here. A lot of small catfish, channel catfish, a whole school of them right there. Now, all these catfish right here was born here. Uh, a lot of people say that your, your catfish, your channel catfish won't breed but they absolutely will if you give them the right conditions now you got to be careful when you do this if you have a pond or interested in on your homestead having a pond uh letting your catfish breed is fine but you got to have the right management these uh these right here are probably six inches probably something like that but by next year these things will be ready to pull out and uh, process and use or put it in your freezer or whatever if you don't you're gonna have huge problems of a lot of catfish that you just can't feed because uh, they would overrun your pond you can see there's probably I don't know if I had to guess last year these were born last year and and if you want to get if you want to let your catfish breed you got to put stuff inside your pond that they can cement blocks I have cement blocks in here that they'll use those as a cavity to lay in. Uh, old timers used to say old uh, old milk cans would work really good. You would put in there, but like I said, it, they will work fine. But you just got to be careful and keep an eye on when you feed them how many comes up. Because anytime you feed, I mean, just about every catfish and bluegill in there comes up. Now today the bluegill they don't seem to be coming up very much so but it's all catfish and quite a few of them right there uh right there was a bluegill just seen one come up but like i said i'll keep feeding these i feed them a good i feed these perina floating catfish food and it keeps them strong and growing fast there's quite a few of them out there there's probably more than 50 or 60 so next year We'll definitely have to start pulling these out, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep feeding them. Try, I try to get feed to them every single day. I probably have, I don't know, maybe six breeder catfish in here total. So that's all the big catfish there is. And right there's one that, that comes up, and I'm not seeing the real big ones come up today. There's some pretty good sized ones, a lot bigger than that, that comes up. And, uh, it's either just too hot because it's in the 90s today. I'm surprised they're coming up at all. Watch them. I'll put, I'll put all the food right there and watch them tear it up. The geese and the ducks, they'll eat that catfish food a little bit. And then they get full and then they go under. You can tell it's hot. And they go up under the, the deck. But if you're interested at all in getting you some of these, they'll take about, you, this is about the size you get them from the, the, the hatchery. And by the, the next year, they're a breeding size and, and eating size. So these right here, hashed these off last year. This is very tiny. You could barely tell they was catfish. They was about an inch long when I first recognized them. And there were hundreds of them, hundreds. And I would say over a period of a few months, probably most of them was ate up, was eaten by other catfish and bass. And there is a handful of bass in here. and. Probably even bluegill at that size. It's very tiny. But there's probably a hundred or more right there in that little grouping that you see. But by next year, these will be, just when you see them in just that little grouping right there, by next year, they'll cover an area three times that size. And they'll have to start pulling them out and start eating some of them or giving them away or whatever because they'll just overrun the pond. That's the thing about when you let your catfish breed be ready to pull them out and and eat them or do something with them but that's just a little tip from uh, homestead hacks i haven't really talked about my uh pond yet too much 
Uh, I do have a well that pumps into this. Uh, if you build a pond, here's another idea. Make sure that you have enough runoff going into your pond. That was one problem with this area right here. Look at the honeybees. They love the pond, though. That's that's their go-to when it's hot. They come up here and they'll, they'll feed right off that, uh, right on the edge. And they got a good little walkway to walk. You can see the whole distance. There's honeybees down through there. Uh, find you a good spot that has a lot of runoff. Because this here, when it rains an inch, you get about two inches in the pond. That's not very good turn back. You want an area where if it rains an inch, you'll get six inches of, uh, of fill up in your ponds with the runoff. So keep that in mind when you build your pond. Keep it downhill where a lot of water will run off into it. So that's about it. I just wanted to do a little talk about my pond and the catfish and such and what we plan on doing it and give you some ideas maybe if you're thinking about building your pond. Uh, don't forget, click on the little bell, folks. Like and subscribe. Please help share our videos. We're trying to get this YouTube channel built up. We're already almost at 500 subscribers within the first week. 400 and some, I believe, last I looked. Uh, it's all four, 480 maybe. I can't remember. But it's doing really well. I'm really pleased with how the subscribers have come up so fast. Uh, got a lot to share. A lot of gardening videos next year. A lot of stuff that uh, a few cooking videos, canning videos. Just about anything that pertains to farming and homesteading. So don't forget, click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Homestead Hacks.